welcome back everybody to the wilders game this is session, session number 30,862 I, I don't know i mean we've been doing this for years and years we're newly uh, arrived on twitch and youtube but uh we've been playing this game for a couple of years so who knows how many wednesdays that's been mm. lot many of them uh i'm gonna hand over who's who's driving tonight i got two sets of controls i can always do okay there you guys okay you go ahead. and let's you're, try you're and we'll do about me. 20 minute times and that way you you only have to do it for 20 minutes and then the other person can drive to change cameras and stuff like that yep. okay uh so uh first things first thaddeus wanted to deal with the dowry we have the picture of the dowry that was presented to thaddeus up on the adventure screen and um it is as we described way back when we actually did that session a giant pearl that opens up and the inside of the pearl is hollow inside of it it's filled with gems it's filled with um a few uh air -like clusters as you can see in the picture there are two very long beautifully ornate uh fillet knives and there is a green rope there were also the two bands but uh the uh bands armbands uh you're wearing one and look at this check this out you guys look oh wow thaddeus is wearing thaddeus we'll got get married it, we'll get it on camera here for a sec hold your hand Shing. Look, look at that thaddeus is actually right. wearing mm -hmm. his his wedding armband he looks like half a wonder woman <laughs> Well, you never wow. know. You never know what kind of Go to your room. She, property. She had the golden <laughs> wrist that, no, thing. No, no, yeah, that was yeah, really you rude. You didn't hear what he said to you, right? Yeah, he, he said, go to your room. Okay. He said, go to your room. Go to my room. One of the things that you discovered, by the way, uh, as you guys have overnighted a game uh, with the merfolk on uh, closer inspection of your quarters, you realize that all of these beautiful columns and all of the, all of the different rooms and parts of this massive cluster that makes up the merfolk city it's all if you look very very closely at it it's all very 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 fine coral that's been formed perfectly to be all of those things that would be By so lovely actually yeah um resident wizard could you uh conduct a uh magic, magic search? search thing on the green rope because the green rope i feel seems like i would like something like that yeah I'm but, on, but only if it's rope. green and only if it's magical mm. it's mm. not easy being green i cast detect magic <laughs> <laughs> with your little sparkly gloves that's it oh wait hold on wait okay uh go ahead and Cast Detect Magic again. Detect Magic. <laughs> so I may have sound actually working on the recording too, so the folks at home should be able to hear that. And uh, there you go. We've actually got a few spell sounds and other weapon sounds and stuff, things like that. Okay, you cast Detect Magic on the uh, Dowry. Uh, let's show the Dowry, and then I'm going to point out some things about it. Mm -hmm. There are clearly none of the gems are magical. All of the gems are strictly gems. They are like clusters, and the gems are fine. The shell is not magical either. The weapons are not particularly... The two weapons are not particularly magical. They are mm -hmm. just... Um, very very good daggers and the green rope there is something magical about the green rope absolutely dibs on the magical green rope well i don't know you know it's thaddeus's dowry it's you know you're gonna have Dang. to just negotiate with him for the magical green rope and see what it can do i'm happy to put it in your possession i'm taking the knives of course who who else better handles fillet lives? Than and you? once we've done an inventory, we can put the rest in the bag of holding, I suppose. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of standing by here. Okay, so and we're going to address that right now. Okay. So uh, the dowry is actually 
carried by the merfolk along with you as a group as you are ushered by your new bride, Kina. Hello, darling. To the vault, the treasure vault, Nereo's treasure vault. Here is a top-down view of the treasure vault. Wow. That is freaking awesome. With all of its goodies. Yum. Much oh, treasure vaulty type stuff. Okay. Very treasure vaulty. Yeah. Um, what are we tracking? Now, here is the cool thing about it. If you, on your own laptops, mm. go to the treasure vault, it's now activated, and you should be able to see it on your own little um, uh, foundry screen. Yeah. Right in the middle of it, there is a little square there. Mm hmm. And that square, if you double click it, opens up Nereo's treasure vault list. Did it work for you? Mm, not for me. Not for me. Nope. Oh, I bet you I know why. Because I didn't want you guys to find it ahead of time. Because that would have been bad. So I did not share it. So I need to simply go to the treasure vault. And go configure on, uh, configure ownership and go owner. So I just want to iterate that you make all this up. Yes. Like just randomly make up these yeah. high uh, level. As he so goes, I yes. Made, I have okay. these, I got these images together and then I made this treasure vault. You should be able to try it now. Try double clicking it now. See if it works now. Does it pop open? It does. Mm -hmm. And it should show you a list that starts with weapons and shields, armor, equipment, and you can scroll down through all of the things that you discover sifting through <laughs> Nereo's treasure vault. I'm curious about unusual shoes. Unusual? Oh, and re how much of this is he willing to park with? Sword. Well, how much do you think you can actually carry? We have a bag of holding. You do. How much stuff's in that bag of holding? You're going to reach a bag of holding. Actually, what what is um like the bag of holding does kilograms. does have a limit. Five. What's it at right now? Mm. What's it at? So uh, I'm going to start at the top of the list, and we're going to actually kind of narrate and go down, so people at home know what's in it as we discuss things. Why don't we do it that way? Okay. Does that work for everybody? You guys can discuss whether you want to take it with you or leave it there. Who is going to hold on to it or what you're going to do with it. Um, that way we can go back to a 360 degree view and uh, do it that way. Um, shall I cast Detect Magic? Just please, so we know please which Please do is, okay. be, before De we go De through the list. Detect Detect magic. How, it, it, so does this, this is going to be a persisting spell that just lasts as you pick <laughs> up each thing and hold on to it? Um... I'd have to cast it each time, I think. All right, let's just assume that you do, and your magic loves let you know when you hold on to something in this vault that's magical. Fair enough. We'll start at the top with the pearl hilt fillet knives. The quantity is two of them. And uh, in examining these two knives, uh, what you find out about them is that uh, they're pretty good damage. And uh, if you transfer them to your bag, uh, they also have, I believe, a plus one to attack. So so uh, they're slightly better quality than any of the daggers that you currently have. Including the ones from the dowry? That's what these two are. These are the two dowries. Oh, oh, oh these so are the ones from the dowry, so I've already got the, the, okay. So the reason that I've done it this way is to facilitate you being okay. able to drag <clears throat> these into your loot inventory okay you know it's like a, a requirement of the foundry game kind of thing. okay so those are the that's what i've called them the pearl hilt fillet knives all right next below that is an unusual <laughs> sword cane of some type a unusual exquisite sword cane an unusual mm. exquisite sword cane. uh that that is certainly of interest that, to me oh can you guys read all of the all of the mystifications on these yeah it just says it's yeah. unclear mm. yeah the nature of the exquisite sword cane unclear, unclear. Oh, okay fine um is it magical 
the exquisite sword cane it does not have any special magical properties other than it is a better more dangerous sword cane because of its serrated edge than the one that uh it looks like i can't pop up the actual item information on the item from this list to show details that is weird they have to be in your inventory before you can so i'm just going to tell you it, loose it's things not about all them. of them like uh, if i go down to trident it does pop up the uh the stats or whatever well not the stats it just gives you a description mm -hmm. yeah it's just popping open descriptions it's not actually giving you details but anyways exquisite sword cane a little bit better than the sword cane that thaddeus currently has and this one has got a dolphin handle Ooh. Ooh. Below that, there are uh, a stack of tridents. Of course, there are tridents laying all over the place. And you see five different regular run-of-the-mill tridents. There's five of us and five tridents. These three-pronged three spear-like weapons typically have a four-foot shaft. Can we wield I mean, it one hand or throw them? I can't think of any land adventure where I would need it trident but also i kind of want a trident <laughs> well didn't you want a fork <laughs> you're just talking about oh. a needle hopper to to comb my hair See, now yes, you have a huge exactly. one you can have the biggest dingle hopper in the crowd <laughs> ding biggest dingle hopper ever next thing down is a dagger and there is nothing magical about this deck next thing down is a throwing knife and there is nothing magical about this throwing knife next thing down is some type of sword uh, it looks like a strange sword. It doesn't seem to have any particular magical properties. Just uh, it's unusual. something quietly unusual, unusual about it. Aldor, Aldori it looks different than sword. any of the other ones that you guys have run into. So, <laughs> besides that, you find some Aldori armor. Dorian there is sword an is unusual there. set of plate armor, and as that, as um, Raven looks closely at it, it looks to him like there are a lot of little clockwork gears. All Ooh. interlaced together. Cool. In this plate armor, but it is quite heavy. It is it is as heavy as any regular plate armor. Uh this one seems to not have rusted away from the seawater <laughs> for some reason. There must be something special about it. Uh you do find lots of different types of uh weapons and armor that are no longer usable. They have basically rusted away over time because of the effects of being underwater. Uh, these ones in this case have not. Below that, there is a set of leather armor. But I don't think that there is anything particularly magical about this set of leather armor. It looks like it's just a very well-made set of leather armor. And it has been coated pretty heavily in uh, wax. Boiled leather coated in wax is how they make very hard, and very hard leather armor. And it is that wax perm permeation that has stopped it from being... Uh, deteriorating while it's being under the water and who knows how long it's been there probably less time than many of the other things that have been found uh in shipwrecks and stuff like that below that there is an unusual chain shirt and there's definitely something magical about that chain shirt hmm. it is uh pristine it's uh not showing anywhere or tear at all uh it's very light and the metal looks to be just a slightly light blue tinge to it different than what you'd be used to with other types of chain how shirts. big is it a chain shirt yes it's like a shirt size it's a medium size it would fit anybody in this group except that a person might find it a little bit tight to wear it okay oh i was meaning to ask the unusual plate would that be appropriate for me uh it's heavy but i'm strong You'll be strong enough to wear it, and I would say, yeah. I would say it's possible. Are you trained in heavy armor? No. He's not. He Are you would trained have to, in unusual? I, I would say that weird? with this yes. particular thing, because it's plate, that he would have to work with it a long time to gain proficiency to be able to wear it reasonably while he's trying to be in combat. So you're gonna So attunement... Is going to take a long time, weeks. Mm. Okay, but you can try for attunement with it. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna 
make that up like I do every damn thing in this game. Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the flow. But yeah, it's it's possible. It's absolutely possible. Um, next up is equipment. You find a flute. And it appears that this flute is made from a very long, thin bone. There is definitely something magical about this flute. I am interested in the flute. Hey. There is a leather belt. It also seems magical. Um, we were mentioning I Hold on. It. That sound that is too noise? loud, I would say, eh? What is going on here? Let's turn that down. Sorry, guys. Back, background Folks noise taking over. Probably it was too much. There, I've turned it down. Let me know if that's still too loud. It's literally only sugar watching us right now. I tried my hardest Hi, sugar. to get. That's all right. Hey, sugar, sugar. Honey, sugar, sugar. Thank you, sugar. Thank you for being we here, sugar. We appreciate you very much. Okay. Um, leather belt, something magical about it. Next is unusual headwear. And uh, it's a hat. A strange looking hat. Magical. How yes, do you wear this hat? Magical. Define you strange put looking. It on your head, and uh, it looks uh, in this case, um, it seems to kind of melt itself. If you pull the top, it suddenly comes pointy on the top and looks like a wizard's hat. If you push it down and make it round, it's suddenly a round domey type of hat. If you stretch it out, it looks like a pancake on your head. It seems to be very malleable as a hat. What color is it? It is a blue-gray. <laughs> important questions. The blue-gray. No, that won't go with anything Clearly else. some yeah. kind of felt yeah. or something like that. All right. One of the things that Kina, by the way, mentions to you, I should have mentioned it at the beginning because I plan to, is that while these are the things that they've gathered and, and they know that some of these things are magical, some of them are not, it's not something that... Uh, matters to them as much as 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 a merfolk society and they've got their own magic and they can detect magic about some of these things but they don't trust all of them maybe not everything that's in this vault is wholesome Ooh. okay it could be cursed guaranteed none of it not all of it is wholesome just so you know yes. okay First items. Below that, there is another, in this case, it seems like a, a chain, a long chain of strange links that are interlocked together. It's a long chain. It seems to be a, a silvery type of material. It could be silver, some kind of steel. And is it magical as well? It's magical. You also find a pair of leather bracers, unusual leather bracers. These bracers. What are bracers? I'm uh, sorry. Those are things like, well, actually, what he's wearing would often be called a bracer, okay. an armband so, like that. Yeah, okay. In this case, they're leather, and it looks like the bracer has got the shape of a claw coming out on it, on each one of them. I'm interested in that. There's a set of unusual shoes. These are boots. They very much look like pirate boots. So they've got the, the fold down top, you know, around the ankle on them. Uh, they're kind of a light tan color. They're leather boots. There's something magical about them. There I is, want some magical, unusual shoes, just saying. <laughs> there is a cloak. In this case, it is a light blue cloak, and it is extremely light. It seems to have some slight weights sewn into it along the sides and the bottom hem. Uh, there is how big a, is the cloak? Uh, it's a medium size. It would fit any of them. There is a unusual Thank ring. You, you find a small ring. Um, I can tell you more about it. You know, at first glance, so it's definitely magical. You find a second ring uh, beside it in a small uh, chest that's got some jewelry type things in it. Uh, and the second ring clearly has uh, what looks like a small ram's head. In, in, uh, engraved on the front of the ring and it is a um, silver ring with this ram's head on it. How about the other ring? Can you describe it a bit more for us? Not until I get it out of the damn bolt because I can't oh, okay. open it up to read it myself. Okay. This but one a has new, a ram's head on it. This is a new thing I've encountered with. I didn't realize that I couldn't look at the properties of these items once I put them in 
revolt. So till they go into somebody's inventory, I can't look at them again. Um, I can just tell you what I remember from these things. All right. Also, we in this game are going to play with uh, something we've already done it a little bit. And that is that some items are going to end up being class specific. Right now, that's already exists in D&D. For example, a wizard cannot wear leather armor. Right, because it's because because uh, it's he's limited to as a wizard as a magic user he's limited he can't wear plate he can't wear leather rangers or gunslingers or things like of that type usually can wear leather and maybe some light chain but they can't wear a heavy plate right same for rogues okay um, the only ones that can wear the really heavy plate stuff are heavy duty martial guys like paladins and uh, fighters and stuff like that. In this case, some of the items you are going to have to try and find out by trial and error whether or not they, if they do anything when you try and use them or if they maybe don't work with your class. There's also a whole concept called uh, soul binding. And that is where something will <coughs> bind to you and it, you cannot trade it to somebody, you cannot sell it, you cannot give it away. It is yours and you are stuck with it unless you throw it away and leave it somewhere. Can a, and this is next on the list, so that's why I'm saying this. Um, can a half elf slash ranger woman acquire a magical green rope? Yes. Yay. Magical green rope is not is not limited to any class. Uh, next That's thing what is I really a shell. Wanted. There's That's a the fairly large shell. Uh, and, Don't know what uh, it does. Oh, it's not mystified. It's a shell, obviously made by the merfolk. Uh, a shell of easy breathing. Ooh. And it looks like this is something that was related to the little bubbles that you were each given to yep. breathe with. Yep. In this case, it's something that's about two feet across. You can carry with you. And uh, if you fill it up with water, you can make those bubbles. That's a great thing we to have. Yes, to we definitely need that. Shell. I personally don't need it, but it would be a good thing to have for any of you. Well, um, yep. you don't need it. We need it. Exactly. Yes. So Something it, else it, it produces these bubbles? Yeah, these little bubbles bubble up out of the, the water. Little bubbles that you eat and can If you fill the water and, and then these bubbles bubble up, you can either put your head down and breathe in or you can try and grab a couple of them, pop them in your mouth, and that'll give you the ability to breathe for eight hours. You know how they're saying things like with the shell of easy breathing, um, the price is 700 gold pieces. Do we have to pay that amount every time we want to use it or how no it? this is what is considered the value of these things if you were to try and negotiate to sell or trade them with someone oh and that makes sense they're literally being given to us for free because of Daddy's caddies took one for the team up his wrist the rail has two reasons for giving them to you one is uh that but the greater reason more than that is that he wants to try <laughs> and support you and our one in this quest that you've been given in this mission by allowing you to raid his his stores for stuff that frankly they don't just need, accumulates yeah. as a sea god very kind of him right so yeah. so he lets you look through this stuff this may not be the only treasure vault he's got too but it's the one you're allowed to see <laughs> This, this is, and he this has is kind a great... of a vested interest in getting uh, Thaddeus back. Yeah, he would like to get he'd yeah. like to get his his you know forty eight son in law, son -in -law <laughs> back, right? You know, whatever happened to the rest of them? Well, they're all around. The, they're all married they're all, to, to the the sailors. All of the but, scenes I've shown okay. you have had mermen yeah. as well the as mermen with yeah. Yeah. So, so they're they're still alive. It's not like a siren that away? eats the no. maid afterwards. No, oh, Mom, otherwise that's, that's a what are they called the uh, like the the green things with the siren. long legs talk about a siren of the ocean right yep no 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 no. Right. I'm talking about a, 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 a medusa 
No, I'm talking. What's that? Bug? Harpy. The, that's that bug, the green the one. Praying mantis. Them. Praying mantis. That's what she's uh, talking about. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm talking. <laughs> her I'm, husband. And I'm talking about um, the sirens under the water because there was a whole thing. Um, Odysseus. Well, yeah. About yeah. how sirens would eat yeah. their mates. Mm-hmm. The sirens were actually on the shore. They weren't in the water. Okay, so that takes care of yeah. that. However, I happen to know that my darling wife does have a siren song. Oh. She attempted to use on me when we first met. <clears throat> um, didn't work on me. Did it sound like, uh, what's her face, Celine Dion? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like this. That's what it sounded like. Not even close to Lisa McLaughlin. <laughs> More like Enya. Very Enya-like, yes. These are the these are the charming siren songs of the Merfolk. Sail away, sail away, sail, sail away. away. <laughs> so, it, to finish answering Lavinia's question. Obviously, if they can't have any uh, male merfolk, then they have got to recruit slash marry with landsmen. Those landsmen then gain through their their wedding armband yep. Yep. some mer powers, and they're still around. Yep. And they have been in all of the scenes that I've shown you guys. Oh, absolutely. I just didn't connect. So... Let's continue with the list. Next is something you already have. You were given it yesterday. It's the conch of Nereo. Somebody needs to put that in the bag of holding or something else. Now, and, it, uh, would it be appropriate for the son-in-law to call Nereo? Or would it be more the, the, the squad leader? Anybody that uses the conch. But you must be in his realm. Right. One somewhere in the seven seas before it's ever going to work. You can't use it on land. Yeah. Or you can't use it in a freshwater lake. So somebody who is capable of using it underwater for any length of time. It's your yeah. All thinking. right. I will. You uh, take the conquer of an array. I will take charge of that. Yeah. And then whenever we need to call or summon his army or his assistance, we will call upon you. Okay. You find a um, leather sack full of coins reddish gold coins you've seen them before you've already got some that look like them they've got roman inscriptions and stamped roman heads on them they are orich alchem coins so 224 gps let's put you, those there's the green gold. rope you also find half dozen just empty water bottles laying miss right. smith are you going to take charge of the green rope um yes please i um, would like the green rope i don't know what my appeal is to this green rope but i really want it well, Put it in your inventory. Yeah, spoken okay. like a true go- I'll, cowgirl. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll drag it down. The green rope in my inventory. Now, you, you see there's six uh, water bottles, and we could use those for holy water. So let's, We certainly can. Let's get a hold of we those. Can also these use are full-size water bottles, by the way. They're each a full Oh, we water. can also use them for yeah, uh, mm, Molotov clear, cocktails. Clear, mm-hmm. clear crystal glass. True. Okay. So, sorry, I have a question. Who's, who's gathering? Like, do we just grab these things as we want them? You guys decide how to move them out of that inventory into your own. Okay. But you guys haven't done, had an opportunity for a good treasure run for months and months. So I thought it was time that you guys had a chance to look at some some goodies. We left off with the leather sack of War of and coins and some water bottles. And then we come to a section of what are obviously consumables. A lot of them are scrolls, scroll in red ink, scroll in blue ink, scroll in green ink. <coughs> there is a dark blue wand. There is an unusual trident. You find another trident, and it seems to have kind of a blue electric crackle to this particular trident. There's a scroll in purple ink, scroll in black ink. There is an amulet well, with a cat yeah, one you and her, on so I'll do that. There is a white wooden wand. There is uh, a scroll that's got what (laughs) appears to be an image of wind blowing on it. And another scroll with a little heart uh, illustration on it. And uh, you come across half a dozen uh, healing potions in a a little uh, box. You recognize them right away because you guys are very familiar with uh, healing potions. These are moderate healing potions. 
and you get six of them. <coughs> Other things you find are a big old chest full of gems. Now, some of these gems that are in this list will be some of the gems from Thaddeus's dowry, and then there are also added to them a few others. Uh, and there's some quite valuable ones in here, black pearls, saltwater pearls, this is where I've included in the list things like the all of the air light clusters, the three air light clusters you find, the air light sliver, the air light gems. You also find a couple of items that apparently are fairly valuable. They're very nicely made, but they're not magical. One's a leather flagon that's got a uh, Cade Knight symbol on it, and another one is a golden garnet ring. Is the ring magical? No. None of the treasure is magical. Okay. That is all of the stuff that you find that's of any use to you or interest to you in Nereo's vault. Wait, did you already take all of the scrolls? The scrolls? And the, <laughs> like, because I'm looking through the thing. I, and, like, I did. I scarfed the scrolls. Magically, they, <laughs> magically, like, they, they just went disappeared. Away, unless you want them. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. I was just, I was, I was looking to see okay. what they did. Okay. But you just like hoarded them. Do okay. we want to the healing <laughs> potions or do we want to split them up? Well, why don't you take them and then we can always... Okay. I did take the cat amulet too, but I can make it go back there if you prefer. I just thought it it, it would be helpful to figure out what it is. But if someone wants to try it out, they're welcome to. <laughs> I don't know what a leather, uh, sorry, leather flagon with cadenite symbol is. Oh, well, it's like a water skin or um, it's a boiled leather uh, cup mm -hmm. and it's got a symbol on it and it's just... It looks like it's just like a, a fancy, valuable cup. Was that worth typing it out? Uh, all I had to do was drag and drop it from a whole list okay. of treasure. Um, Percy, did you want to take the cat amulet, being that you're half cat already? I, I might. Uh, I it's magical, I guess. Yes, you don't know what the what the uh, actual properties of all of these magical <laughs> items are. It's going to take you time. <laughs> to figure that out one by one as you wear them, experiment with them, attune to them, that kind of thing. I feel that the unusual trident should belong to the half mer person. You know, I'm much better at throwing daggers. I'm much better at throwing daggers than, well, all right. You don't want an unusual Underwater? trident? How well, are you? All right, I'll take the unusual yeah. trident. Also, too, uh, for the rangers to have some other um, some other weapons other than your guns, for example, would be a good idea. What do you think the special green rope is? Well, it could be a rope of climbing. It's One of the things that Keena, rope. Keena volunteers to you hmm. is that she says that uh, it's important for you to keep the rope damp all the time because it's made of living kelp. Oh, thank you for that inspiration. So did we so decide? I've got, a, I've got a wet rope in my side bag. Okay, and did nice. you did you already drag it to your inventory? I did. Oh, good. Did you want the cat amulet? Um, I'm just about to put that in mind, but okay. I don't know. Do you... Now, what you guys can do is you'll be able to follow this up all you need because this vault isn't going to go away. So we're That's just going to leave what it I here. To know. Yep. You should be able to see it in your actors tab. Can you see a section in your actors tab called treasure? Yes. yes. And if you click on that treasure, does it yes. open up and say Nereo's treasure vault? Mm -hmm. It, it, it does. Go. So you can click on that anytime you want. I'm going to try and build from now on in the future when you guys find loot. I'm going to build uh, one of these. This is how they, they do it in this system. It's it's instead of, of being an NPC, it could be a merchant mm -hmm. or something like that. There's going to be set different sections. If you come to a city and there are a bunch of merchants there, there will be the name of that city. And you can click on that city and then access those merchants if you're in that location. In this case, with the treasure vault, we don't want to spend the rest of our lives tonight dealing with all of this treasure. You sure, so because it's kind of fun. <laughs> Who doesn't love shopping? Well, you well we we do have an assignment to get back oh, to. That right. kind of makes us our own shopping channel. <laughs> Kina says that she will help you to identify one item each, 
and then beyond that you'll have to figure out the rest on your own and in you know in the interests of of us getting someplace and doing some fun other fun stuff tonight so um everybody pick something that they want to know what it is oh look at this the wizard is raring to go okay. what does raven ask first could you please tell me what this white wooden wand does she holds up the white wooden wand. She looks at the white wooden wand. Is it in your inventory now? It is. Good. That way I could friggin' read what it says. Uh, the party. It Ravens says, the nature inventory. of this object is unclear, and I cannot edit it. No, that's right. You sure can't edit it. You're not allowed to edit my magic items. And I've got to go find it, though. Yeah, I, one of the things that is on my wish list is that there will be a little search bar at the top of everybody's inventory that I can just type in a word and then it will pop up that listing for me. Because you guys get a lot of stuff, right? So I got to go. If I were king here. of the world, sort of thing. Right. Yes. Well, if I were the king of the boundary program. Mm -hmm. um, where the hell is it? Oh, uh, um, check under consumables. It's about the eighth item from the top. Oh, it's in with the scrolls. I wonder why they consider it. Well, I guess it's because if it when it runs out of out of uh, charges Ready? charges, that's it. But they will refresh they the typically after a rest. So she magically identifies it for you, and you are able to find out that it is a. Oh, how come it didn't? Did it uh, demystify? Identify item. There we go. It is a wand of scrying. Cool. Ooh. Okay. So, wand of scrying. It says this baton is about a foot long and contains a single spell. The appearance typically relates to the spell within. Once per day, you can uh, use it and you can cast a spell. And the spell is scrying. If you are not going to use it, I would really. Well, why don't I give it to you? Because you're more of our... Um, I, I scry more. Yes. So, now, if you look at the listing... Okay, well, you can look at the listing when it's in yours, or we can... Uh, I don't know. Can I pop it up on the screen somewhere? You're Let's more see. of our mystic than me. Yeah. Go to the adventure screen for a sec, guys. Okay, yeah. So there it is. Uh, there's the spell of scrying for you. And basically, it is you magically spy on a creature of your choice. No. It works like clairvoyance. Dave, it, do, it doesn't show up anywhere. Well, it's on that screen there. Uh, it's well, also on that it, one. It sure does, but okay. But it's not on your screen, you mean? Hold on. Anyways, I'm reading it to you. It says that uh, um, basically, you can spy on something. You can't interact with it. That's the basic mm -hmm. idea. Okay. It's a voyeurism spell. Yes, kind of. Okay, I put it in the bag of holding. That's a good place for it. You guys can read the full description on and you can also look up scrying on uh, our kinds of Nethys or whatever. Scrying spell is a standard spell. Thank you. Okay, what about Josephine? What does she want identify? Uh, well, I only grabbed one thing, and that's the snazzy green rope. So please tell me more about this. Your please. snazzy green rope. Is it in all of your stuff? Where will I I, I put it in my stuff. It has no description. Green rope is now identified in your thing, and it says that it is a lesser rope of climbing. This... Uh, well, it says silk, but it's kelp. This kelp rope measures 100 feet long and is capable of holding up to 3,000 pounds. If the rope is ever cut, only the longer remaining portion retains its magic. You can use it with a special effect where you hold one end of the rope and you point to a destination. The rope animates for one minute, moving 10 feet per round until it reaches the destination or runs out of length. The rope can move across any non-damaging horizontal or vertical surface, but it can't extend upwards without a surface to support it. At any point while the rope is animated, you can use an interact action to wiggle the rope 
giving it one of the following commands. Stop in place, fasten securely to the nearest available object, detach from an object, or not or unknock itself. Ooh. Well, that's a hella cool rope. That's like a Spider-Man rope. So that's it's not like a the, weapon the, type the, rope. The, it the is best a rope cool ever. utilities type rope. And it is, yeah, I will uh, eventually edit this so it says this kelp rope. Okay, uh, and so it becomes Lavinia's turn. 